24 bit 96 kilohertz 192 kilohertz boston nora jones miles davis ah mama mia dsd honey oh oh hey uh hey uh hey baby hey baby Um, I was buying, I was just buying some vinyl. Are you looking at digital music again? This, uh, no, th um, this can't, this is in the, this is in the, this is in the spam box, in the, in the spam box, the spam folder, the, it came, it came, this came, this came through in that spam folder. <sighs> yeah, the, it, the, it, this was just this, this was, but I, I um, yeah, I figured it out. It's that, it's that spam folder and I fixed it. Welcome back to New Record Day. My name is Ron and today we are doing a review of the Benchmark Media DAC2 HGC. And folks, no joke, we are going to be talking about digital music today. In the world of hi-fi where companies are trying to convince us that they can bridge the gap between digital and analog, we have Benchmark Media. Using technology and experience as their ally, the DAC2 HGC is a Swiss army knife that brings the best of both worlds and makes no compromises while building a machine that I believe could captivate the most hardcore analog purist. The new hybrid gain control is Benchmark's ace in the hole that combines active analog 32-bit digital and passive systems. That's right folks. This debate can end right now as Benchmark combines a high dynamic range of analog control and the accuracy of digital. You want a detail on music? The DAC2 has you covered. Headphone enthusiasts will be happy to see Benchmark didn't forget about them either. They didn't toss in some silly last minute headphone section. This puppy is loaded with one of the most transparent headphone amplifiers available. The HPA2 headphone amplification is able to deliver high current, high signal levels and is well suited for a wide selection of headphones. Great OPS 1000s, no problem. Sennheiser HT 650s, piece of cake, very cool. This is what you get when you are dealing with a near zero ohm output impedance which provides outstanding damping of headphone drivers and reduces distortion, maintaining control of the frequency response. For those listening to digital, you'll be greeted with native DSD conversion where DSD signals can be delivered to the USB or coaxial inputs in DOP 1.1 format. The DSD signal is then routed to a bank of 1-bit DSD-DA converters. Four balanced 1-bit converters are summed together for each balanced output. Toss in the fact that you have asynchronous USB 2.0 that supports 24192 with conversion clocks that totally eliminate jitter, and we just started one heck of a party where the DAC2 just doesn't politely knock on the door. It kicks the freaking door down. Speaking of the digital audio converter, Benchmark made the decision on using the 32-bit Sabre which offers four balanced 32-bit conversion. At a four to one redundancy, you can rely on reduced noise and distortion levels that set a new Benchmark, no pun intended. For anyone that heard what these folks did with the original Benchmark 1, they know when a statement like this is made, you can take it to the bank. If this isn't enough to satisfy, the boys and girls at Benchmark Media also cover ground for those that want to integrate the DAC2 into an existing surround sound environment. Home theater bypass as well as high throughput mode places the digital input in a fixed gain position. This mode makes life simple when connecting the DAC2 to a stereo preamp. Removing the top cover to gain access to the jumpers also exposes that this isn't just some pretty face with no beauty on the inside. The workmanship on this unit is second to none. Changing the jumpers will allow you to adjust the headphone gain range, muting the analog outputs when connected to headphones in the left headphone jack, making changes to the XLR output pads, or even enabling digital pass-through. Impressed yet? I thought so. All right, let's get down to business, shall we? Connecting the benchmark for the very first time was a snap. All the connections are laid out very well, and it feels absolutely fantastic plugging everything in. Build quality on the DAC2 is incredible, and I'd be shocked if this thing wouldn't survive a drop test from a rooftop. But we'll save that test for another day. Bottom line, if you're looking for a quality unit that will stand the test of time, you just found it. LED lights on the front of the unit clearly display what is being fed to the DAC2. And it also shows which inputs you are using. 
toss and dim, mute, and polarity buttons, and you now have everything you could possibly want out of a reference class unit. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention, folks, the volume pod is motorized. Bam! How much cooler can this thing possibly get? Also, I don't know about you music lovers and audiophiles, but I am sick to death of junky remotes being tossed in with our hi-fi equipment. As if we don't pay attention to the details? Well, I'm here to tell you, Benchmark Media paid attention with this remote. It feels fantastic. The buttons are responsive and everything works like it should. And yes, it even has some weight to it. Amazing. Listening to the Benchmark has been an absolute joy. I have played every DSD file that I could get my hands on, as well as other high resolution samples. And to be honest, there were times when I forgot about digital and just enjoyed the music for what it was. This is the biggest compliment that I could give to Benchmark for the work that they have done on the digital side of things. Where things get interesting is this. Are you guys going to win over the vinyl purists out there that might want to consider possibly checking out digital on the side as well? I won't lie, that's going to be a tall order, but based on what I have heard, if there is any device out there that can do it, this might very well be it. So at the end of the day, here's where we are. We have a unit that, in my opinion, makes absolutely no compromises. It doesn't cut any corners. So if you are in the market looking for a reference class preamplifier that's capable of delivering the goods on the analog domain side of things, no problem. Check, they have you covered. If you're looking for a reference class digital audio converter where you can play DSD files, where you can play high resolution files, check, they have you covered. If you are in the market looking for a reference class headphone amplifier that you also want a double duty as digital audio converter or a preamplifier, check, they have you covered. The beautiful thing about Benchmark Media is this. This isn't some ridiculous company that's using yesterday's components in a new fancy box or perhaps just jacking somebody else's circuit and tossing it into an aluminum enclosure and charging you a ton of money for it. These guys are the real deal and I respect them for that. They make life easy when you know they send me an amazing piece of gear and I can just sit here and tell you this thing is phenomenal and it is. So, comes with my highest recommendation, Rory Rawl from Benchmark Media. Thank you so much for sending out this unit. I would love to continue doing reviews for you guys. Anything else that you want to send my way, have at it. You guys know what the heck you're doing, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by here at newrecordday.com. Please subscribe. Send us the emails. You guys know the drill. Honey, we need to freaking rob a bank because I really want to buy one of these. I'm not kidding. All right, quiet on the set. Ooh. I rushed you, huh? I started laughing. <laughs> I blew it. I'm not a good actor. Don't look at me. Okay. <laughs> All right, we got it this time. You told me not to say the line, and then I told you. <laughs> I, I don't want the third line. I like the second line. <laughs>